down there. Welcome, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I have another video for everybody. No. But today I'm gonna to be doing another craft video. So if you guys probably saw in my previous video, I did a 99 cents challenge craft with my brother. But today's me and me, and I'm gonna be making a Quindy Traft. A Quindy Traft. The uh, trendy <laughs> Trendy Craft, not a Crendy Traft. <laughs> So from Michaels, and uh, if you guys didn't already see, it's very popular, are the iPhone charms. I'll be putting images right here. Um, so I think they look really cool, and I really wanted to try it on myself. So we got some items from Michaels. Put them all out, and the first thing we got is the cotton braiding cord. And this is for the wire, or the string for my beads to, charms to go on. Just black, so that's pretty simple. The next thing I got were these expression emoji charms. They're so cute, guys. And they're like matte, and I think it's gonna look really nice with the cord and everything. And there's some more facial expressions. They're sad, happy, gleeful, mad. Then we got these words, um, uh, alphabet beads. And I like the circle shape that it has, and they have little hearts and stuff that is super cute. So I'm gonna be spelling out obviously Yisha, so they look really nice. And the last thing are these like, I think they look like pretty on trend, like these little childish charms and have butterflies and hearts and flowers. And the butterflies actually match my phone case, which I got from wrong way. As you guys probably, uh, if you guys didn't already, go check out that video. It's previous video, so I'll insert a picture right here. So yeah, so without further ado, let's get started. For this crendy craft, you'll also be needing some scissors and a lighter. Or some scissors and lighter, okay. So the first thing we're gonna do is unbox the wire. Hopefully I don't cut. Okay guys, so I finally, a thousand years later, I unboxed my string, so now, be measuring out because you're still gonna have to tie for the tie on the phone or for the phone case. So here's mine currently. Got it again off our way, not sponsored. <laughs> but we're gonna be needing like an exact measurement. I think this is gonna be good because I still need to like tie some, leave some for the tie and then for both parts. So I think that's good. So let me just cut that. Oh, that was hard to cut actually. I'm just keeping it out. That did not really much work. Ow. Almost cut my fingers, but here we go, guys. So now I'm gonna be evening it out so it was like equal on both sides and tying it. So for the tie, you're gonna be leaving a little bit of space for the um, loop to go through. So I'm gonna be leaving about, I think, that much and just tying it. Put them down a bit. I think that's gonna be good. Here we go. So here's the tie for our thing. And on both sides, we'll be filling with, with beads. So we'll be going on this side and this side and then tying and burning the ends at the end. So it's a pretty simple craft, but it should be absolutely amazing and beautiful. So I'm gonna start by just unboxing all my beads and I'm gonna be going in like a, I guess, pattern maybe. Yeah, I'm going in a pattern to make it look very, So, oh, ooh, these so nice. Okay, so now I'm kind of just gonna be laying these out like this. So now that I kind of like get coordinate and I'm gonna start with, I think I'll start with like maybe, wait, is it gonna be going? Okay, this one, so I'm just gonna match it. Then I need them facing. Them facing. Okay, got, got it now. So I need them facing this way. And there's nice big holes, so it's nice. And um, I'm gonna be going in a pattern. I'm gonna be doing butterfly, I think. But they don't have to be exact colors. Butterfly, bead, emoji, flower, star. 
that, that works. I think I'm gonna be going like that. But they'll all be different colors. So it's not gonna be like a specific color pattern. Oh, okay, I thought that wouldn't fit for a second. So let me grab an emoji, I'm gonna grab a green little sad face. Actually, let's get a happy face. No sad vibes in this channel, guys. Uh-oh, we went into it. Oh, okay, never mind. Three. Uh-oh, actually, yes. So, um, our emojis will be slanted, but it's okay on all sides, but that's okay. So now I think I'm just gonna continue this pattern going on and on and on. So there will be a time lapse so you guys can see everything that I'm doing. So let's roll. Okay guys, so I finished one side and I absolutely love it. I think it looks super cool and I followed the pattern, but we ran into one slight problem. The hearts on the words, they don't really fit. The words do, so thank goodness, but the hearts do not. I know it was just that one, but I tested a couple and they just don't fit. But maybe I'll work it, but another hack that my dad showed me is that you can actually just burn the end so you don't have to struggle with like putting it through that it would like expand and turn fluffy, so that's pretty cool. So I think it's gonna look really nice. So that looks really good. Do you like it? You don't like it? I'm just kidding, I like it. <laughs> okay. So now I'm gonna be doing the exact same thing to the other side, but I'm going to be writing my name because I forgot to do it actually on this one. <laughs> but I'll be writing my name about halfway and hopefully I could fit some hearts. But yeah, that's the plan. This way. <laughs> okay guys, a lot of time later, I finally finished and it looks so amazing. I love it so much. Look, it says my name. The parts, we tried everything, we tried burning them, but it still didn't fit through, so it's really sad. <laughs> but we got my name, which looks really cool and I like the pattern, oops. Okay, so now for the last step. So now you're gonna be tying your two ends. You just leave a little space so that you could tie your ends and I'm gonna be double knotting it or you could even triple knot it, but really tightly knotting it so it does not fall apart. Cause you do not want it to fall apart because that's not gonna look that good. It's just gonna like, oh, I'm so cool and just falls. So, yep. And then after I just double knotted, I'm gonna be snipping the ends and burning them. So snipping about somewhere there and there. So now comes the hard part. I'm trying to burn with a lighter. So make sure you do this with parental supervision before doing this, but um, I'm going like this. Ooh. Okay, well, that will just burn a little bit more, just, just to, fit, just to make sure it just sticks on and fix it. Okay, we got that end. As you can see, there's like no more ends. It just looks like a knot. We're gonna do that to the other side. So just... Okay, I finished that, as you guys can see, just a knot now. But I have now finished it and it looks, as you can see, it looks like there's like no end and it looks really nice, so it looks like a circle. And now uh, it's like a whole type of necklace, but not really. So now I'm going to be taking off my case from my phone and there is like the little notification thing, the um, space. 
So you're gonna be pulling it through that and grabbing your creation and pulling it through the whole entire loop and securing it by just pulling it. And there you have it. And it's not gonna untie because you're gonna have your phone on, obviously. And if you like try to like undo it, it's probably not gonna work because you have to like do all this extra stuff. But look, guys, look how cool this is. So now I'm gonna be putting my phone back in. And oh, you can see my name and everything. So let's do a little bit of a walk. So good. So I absolutely love this guys. This craft is amazing. It's super easy and super fun to make. And all the colors are so beautiful. And you can make like a lot of these because I have a lot of yarn and a lot of beads left. So this can make really cool things. And it was super easy and pretty inexpensive, I'd say. But look at this appetite. Amazing. So now I can just like walk around and be like a cool kid. <laughs> just kidding. But I hope you guys enjoyed this craft because it was a lot of fun. And if you guys enjoy these types of videos, make sure to hit that like button like you hit your siblings. Just kidding, but don't hit your siblings. But I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, crendy craft. And I hope you guys to see you guys in my next video. So please hit that like button, subscribe if you are new. And yeah, all I have to say is bye. Bye. Bye.